So no long talking, let's get straight into the training. The first thing that I typically do on a chest day is to do some light back work. And I do uh, a lot of pull down variation where I'm laying flat on my back and I'm pulling down. Next thing is a tricep exercise. It could be any tricep exercise that you choose that's your favorite. I just do it depending on how my elbows feel and I do this to lubricate my elbow, lubricate my elbow joints so they feel nice and supple before any push work. And the next one is a chest exercise. Again, it could be any chest exercise of your choice. I just use a cable machine to get my chest nice and warmed up. So again, trying to get the muscles nice and warm and ready to do the work ahead. Moving on to the to the main exercise at hand is a power lifting set. I try to work my way up to a heavy double. At this point, we worked up to uh, 275, I think. But um, as you can see, the first thing that I did was to strap resistant bands on the bench so to keep me stable and not slide on these benches. Pretty slippery. I try to keep nice and tough, tight. A little bit of arch in the back, I can't get a lot compared to a lot of other people, but I do the best that I possibly can. And from there, I just push. The last few sets, which were at 275, I tried not to go too deep where I was touching my chest just to create constant tension on the chest muscle and squeeze slow slowly down and then squeeze to the top so after the power lifting set i moved straight into a uh, bodybuilding type workout i now use the resistant bands that i had on the bench to create tension Add it to gravity. <laughs> with this, I supersetted each exercise with a bicep exercise. First thing was the hammer curls. And we, I typically try to do it like an overtraining style. So for every chest exercise that I do, I superset it with a bicep exercise. Bicep exercises vary depending on if I'm doing a double arm or single arm exercise. Oh, and it also depends on the availability of the machine that I want. Throughout the bench, are the chest exercises i try to typically hit the top part of my chest the upper chest area as this gives you a much fuller chest and gives you that appearance of a thick wide chest so again each exercise is supersetted and it's done in an overtraining type of way where I do anywhere from 4 to 5 sets of 10 to 12 reps. You can choose to mix and match whichever bicep exercise with, 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 with whatever chest exercise you like. Enjoy the rest of the video. Supersetting and supersetting bicep and chest.
Stronger and I want to charge myself to see how much stronger I can get adding four exercises to my routine. Session, this is what it looks like. Can't complain really. I know that it will get tighter as I'm as time progresses. A little bit of skin here, but hey, look at This video is coming to an end. If you like what you see, please like, share, and subscribe.